Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with the Medium of the Light Tarot. Capricorns, I got a reading for you. I know, shocking, right? <laughs> All right. So, if you are new here, welcome. Ooh. If you are a returner, welcome back. Oops. Didn't mean to shake you up. Now, if this one does not end up resonating with you, check out my playlist for Capricorns because I have many a Capricorn reading. These readings are very specific. So if this one doesn't resonate, go in there, whether it's timeless or dated, and make sure that you look at the title and see if it resonates with you. Because a lot of people's storylines are the same, but very different. Eh. Cards fly in, people. This is the Modern Witch Tarot. Okay. So if I go silent, it means I'm either looking at the cards or I am listening to the guides here. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. Make sure that you give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other Capricorns that need to hear this reading. So for you, you want victory here in this situation. Do you want to stay balanced with the Two of Pentacles? I feel that you are definitely trying to work on your finances as well as, you know, you know, love. There's the Four of Wands there where it's the 1111 card, you know, wanting to have that upper, having the ability and the desire to want to up level a love situation. Now with your person, there's the chariot, the three of pentacles and the empress. Now your person definitely wants to move forward with you. They want to build a solid foundation with you with this three of pentacles. And with this Empress card, they're very much in their abundance mode. And I feel that that's what part of the reason why you are trying to make sure that you stay balanced with your finances and your love. Now this Emperor here, hmm. sorry, I, I was stopping because guys were talking. So that's really great that the Emperor and the Empress is here because you guys want to have it all. It's the king of kings, the queen of queens, and, you know, to top it off, here is the ten of pentacles. Now, here is the four of pentacles. Now, <clears throat> guys, give me more information on this. You feel like that you need to be a little bit more careful with your finances. I'm hearing for some of you there might have been a downsizing in your job where you're not feeling as secure with the amount of money that's coming in. Now here is the two of swords for the overall for this reading. Two of swords. Tell me more about this. not really saying anything all right so let's get some clarification here on the six of wands you've got the page of wands yeah you're definitely wanting victory moving forward making sure that your dreams become a reality I feel like you're a very you might be a younger person here with because you've got two pages you've got the page of Pentacles yeah you're definitely working on your coin I feel like you feel very optimistic about it. You've got the five of pentacles here, but, the, but there is some financial concern for you. However, with this four of wands and this five of pentacles in a love reading, this represents, you know, two people who are left out in the cold, but you're in it, you're in it together, whether you realize it or not. With this chariot card for them comes the nine of wands. 
they're feeling like I'm, he I'm hearing the words browbeaten. What does that mean? What do you mean? Guides. They don't feel like they're being appreciated. Hmm. I feel like for some of you, the two of you might actually be considering building a solid foundation financially with each other. Possibly talking about building a business together. Are very much like sparking each other's um, interests and encouraging each other. So with the three of pentacles is the ace of wands. Yeah, you guys have a lot of fiery passion about building, you know, a solid foundation together. With the empress here comes the ten of wands. Now, why is that there, guides? Because you've got the nine and the ten. So your person is feeling burdens because it's a, a sequence here. They want to end a cycle. What is this cycle about? Let me check here. I feel like for them something, again, because this is interesting. There's lots of storylines here. They're feeling like someone's trying to take something from them and they've been working really hard towards it. So that's why they're defensive. And I don't feel like it's with you. That's why you guys are coming up with this, you know, hey, let's create something together. Hey, you can do better. You know, you guys are trying to encourage each other. You know, you got this, you can do this. So this is great. You guys are, you know, and this is a good solid foundation for a really good 10 of pentacles here. You know, because you guys are the emperor and the emperor is. I don't know why that was so difficult to say, but the lover's card. So this is definitely a strong love that what I'm hearing is can weather any despair. You guys might be experiencing a little bit of financial hardship now or not being recognized for one's hard work. But you guys are very devoted to each other. There's so much positivity and cheerfulness between you guys. You know, and with both of these cards here, it's like you guys are very, very social people. And this is love underneath here. So there's a lot of good possibilities here for you guys and this you know whatever like you might be experiencing financial burdens they might be too but they're not being recognized for something and they're coming to the end of it where they're like okay I'm done and it isn't anything to do with you it's outside sources here with the Emperor yeah see they feel like someone is getting away with something And through this, because your person is very fiery and passionate, they're going to be able to create what they want with your assistance and your support. I feel like you guys are very, very supportive. So if you had, you know, worries here, looks like things are going to be fine. You know, with you guys supporting each other. With this Four of Pentacles is the Knight of Swords. So there's going to be a change coming towards you with your finances. With this Four of Pentacles here, you've got, guides, is it a job offer? It's a much better job offer. And with this Two of Swords, okay, this is about gratitude. This is about the two of you really being grateful and going, okay, well, I could focus on these three, but I know that you have my back. And that the two of you can weather any storm. Okay. This one seems pretty cut and dry, but let's see here. So here it is again. The king and the queen of swords have now shown. 
and you heard how it wanted to pop out. So you guys are a, definitely a divine couple here. Now, guys are saying this can definitely go much deeper here because I feel like I'm just touching on the, just the beginnings of this situation. Now, someone's going to hold their ground, especially with finances, and the sun will shine again. Okay. Now, guides, do we need to take this into the extended to have this go further? Yes, the two of you are, are going, no, we're not going to go into the extended, but you guys are going to be able to weather any storm. I feel that there's a very solid, grounded foundation here. Especially with this new job offer coming in for you. What about your person here? What about them? There's just going to be a, bit, a little longer to weave through. But they're trying to find what their passion is. And with the two of you, yeah, this is going to work out. So yours is going to be a little bit faster on the uptake as far as like your own um, financial burdens going away. But you, you know, you're going to be able to support each other. This one's pretty cut and dry here, Caps. So I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot.